Welcome to Mo Sports Scan and Hockey. We had a busy week in sports. We've got our athlete of the week coming from figure skating. Some basketball highlights from the high school. Again, midget game. Again, Islanders. What a great game that was. We'll have more on that. But first, I ran to Coach Brian Benchby of the Gann Islanders uh, in Kingston at the historical hockey tournament this weekend. Uh, seen here, it's the oldest rivalry in North American sports. Uh, RMCs would score here, and uh, they would beat the Gunners from 2 RCHA in Petawawa 43. Uh, Queens would beat the same Gunners 3-2 in the second game, and RMC would take Queens 1-0 in the finals. What great action from FedFest in Kingston. Uh, now let's get to the arena for some midget hockey in the house league under 18. Short-handed, the Red picks up the puck and gets it to the top shelf. On the same penalty kill, Red gets it to the front, it's 2 nothing lead. Black gets it back uh, with this point shot to cut the deficit in half. Here, this quick pass and shot makes it 3-1. This rebound was pounced upon, great focus. Look at the sweet pass at the end for a 5-1 lead. Now 6-1. This save uh, to uh, halt the bleeding, uh, then this to make it 7-1 off his own rebound. Black never gave up. And then this to cut the lead. It's the final 7-2 red. Great action from the arena. Well, folks, that's great action from that house league game, uh, Midget U18. Uh, now let's get to the Kent Islanders. And, folks, if you weren't there, you wouldn't believe it. What a crazy mayhem that was. Here we go with the Kent Islanders weekly report. Folks, it was flag and jersey day for Gann Minor Hockey, and before the game, Jeremy Piazza was presented with top goalie award and the league MVP. Great award for Jeremy Piazza. Uh, that jump started the Islanders as they get to a one nothing lead. After Amherst View tied it, Gann retakes the lead scene here. The Jets would tie it back up with this power play goal. On another power play, Amherst View would take the lead 3-2. After Gann made it 4-3 on yet another power play, the Jets would retake this two-point lead. Gann and Akwe would cut the lead to just one with this goal, and then this. With just one point, one second left on the clock to tie the game. Securing one point, great effort. With a minute left in OT and the net empty, coach deciding to go for the extra point, the Gennanakwe Islanders would take the game. Fans are going crazy. Let's have a chat with the game-winning goal scorer, Devin Morrison. Hey, Devin, how you doing? Great game-winning goal in overtime. Uh, yeah, you guys had the point. but You needed to. Well, you don't need to, but it's better. How's that feel going into the next? You got three or four more games left, and that extra point is huge. Yeah, I know that point's huge, man. It, this this conference is so close this year. You know, every point counts, especially the last four or five games. We want to solidify ourselves in the playoffs and put ourselves in a good spot to get going. You know, kind of a gutsy move by your coach to go to pull a goalie with about still a minute yeah. left to go in overtime. Yeah. What a great decision, eh? Yeah, you know, we needed that extra point. We know even if we lost that game, we'd still get that one point. So you know. What? That one point was already there for us. Why not go for the two? We needed it, so we just went for it. Thank God it worked out in our favor tonight. Right on, Devin. Thanks. You congratulations. Yeah, no problem. Thank right you. on. Cheers. Cheers. Folks, great action from the Gann Islanders uh, down there. They got three games left with a four-point cushion over Porto. Uh, just going to be some great action. Uh, you like them on Facebook, and you'll see where and if they will make the playoffs and where those games will be, and uh, stay tuned. And now to the high school for some basketball action and a tad bit of cheerleading, too. The Trojans would drive to the net here and then pick up the rebound for two points. Look at this from beyond the arc for three points. Screen up high, quick pass to the left, and then bombs away for another three. Look at this sweet spin move, drive to hoop for two. The Trojans would win the game. Then I pop by the activity room to chat with next week's Athletes of the Weeks. This week, uh, it's off to the arena for a figure skater who is lighting the lamp, so to speak. Let's have a listen. Hey, thanks for chatting with me, Reese. Uh, so, Reese, uh, tell me, how old were you first uh, strapped up skates, and when did you start with the Gann Skating Club? Um, I first started skating like I was skating with my mom, but I didn't really like it. Um, that was like two-ish, and then at two and a half, I started skating here, 
and I really liked it, so I told my mom, uh, can I start skating? So what is it about skating you like? I mean, you just love skating, being out in the ice? Yeah, um, I like flying through jumps, I like working on new things, like, I like doing new stuff mostly, and just like gliding. Okay, so you talk about all those skills and stuff like that, and I know you work hard out here, and I've just watched you for a bit. Um, what is it like putting it into competition? Tell me the difference between training and actually getting out in competition. What do you like about that competition? Because you're the only one on the ice. Here you're sharing the ice. What is it about that competition you love? Um, I just like being by myself um, and just being out there and not focusing on anything else, just like putting my mind to the jumps and just going. Well, you do a pretty good job of that because you represented Ontario at the uh, in Edmonton this summer at the Wild Rose. Uh, how did it feel representing Ontario at a national level? Um, well, it felt like really amazing, really. Um, just being like out there and Ontario and all these Edmonton kids and they're like, oh, who's this Ontario kid? Like, um, it is just like amazing that I got to represent Ontario. That's awesome at a young age too. So what do you like best out of figure skating? Do you like the choreography, the expression, the edge work, or the jumps? What's your favorite? My mine is the jumps because I like working on new things, like I said. Um, and I like getting up there and just working on, like rotating. And when, it, when I finally land it, it feels amazing. So you're, you're pretty well mastered your doubles. Like what triples are you working on right now? I on, I just landed my toe in the summer and my sow in the summer also. So I'm working on a little bit of souse too, just to get more consistent um, from loop, flip, and love. Awesome. Uh, so you and your friends from Gannon Opera are going to have a skating uh, extravaganza here in Gann. Mm -hmm. Roughly when is it? Um, it's about, um, I'm pretty sure it's like late March. Awesome, we'll try to get a whole bunch of people out here. So if you could say one more thing to anybody out there who's never laced it up and skated, what would you say they should, what would be the reason they should do to actually lace it up? Tell me what they, what, what they're missing if they don't lace up. Um, you're missing a ton of fun. You're missing just feeling accomplished. Like, well, if you don't skate, if you don't like it, I understand, but for me, I just loved it. I loved being out there. I loved doing it. Just flying through, like, so I would recommend skating. And so, folks, you've heard it right here from Reese. She's our GAN Athlete of the Week. Lace it up and let's enjoy the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, folks, just great stuff happening with the GAN Figure Skating Club. They've got 110 skaters. From can skate, uh, they get the hockey program, uh, power skating drills and stuff like that. Just awesome stuff. If you want to get in contact with them, they are on Facebook under Gananoque Figure Skating, folks. That's another great week of most sports here at Gananoque. Uh, if you've got an athlete you want to nominate for Athlete of the Week or simply keep in tab, you can subscribe to uh, Most Sports Gananoque or email me at mostsportsgananoque at gmail.com. Folks, if you are on the sport terrain, or in the bleachers, or at hashtag most sports get in that way, you better be there or be square.